season for the return of those pesky lantern flies. Yep, you've seen them, you know them, and this year they have an accomplice. The cicadas are also coming back after a 17 year slumber. It's a one two punch of creepy crawlers. Action News reporter George Solis live for us now in Newark, Delaware, where one insect enthusiast is actually happy about their return. So let's hear this story. <laughs> Well, there, there's a lot going on, Shari, but depending on where you live, you may or may not see them. You certainly won't need one of these to spot them, considering they are large and they are noisy. Here in Newark, Delaware, thanks to my little friend Doug here, we actually have quite the jackpot of cicadas. You can see he is collecting them here. So we talked to an expert today, though, about their impact in the environment, what you need to know, as well as some of those other pests that you might be seeing emerge this spring. Emerging from your pandemic pad this spring, you won't be alone. Sure, you may have heard all about the brood X cicadas, but have you actually seen any up close yet? We sure did, and well, public perception may be best summed up by this Newark, Delaware father and son. I feel like they're cute. Mostly I'm grossed out by them. Caleb Curtis and his son Doug may be the leading authority on these every 17-year phenomenon. Their yard is full of them. Doug has also been collecting them to protect them from predators like the family dog and dad's lawnmower. Doug is, uh, wants to be very uh, gentle to, to the bugs. Call them cicadas, not bugs. To the cicadas, you're right. So, what's so special about Brood X? For that, we turn to Philadelphia Insectarium and Butterfly Pavilion CEO, Dr. John Cambridge. Brood X also happens to be the largest of all of the ones in the country. Um, so three different species are going to be coming out in the billions uh, across our region. That's right, billions. So what have the cicadas been up to all these years? Eating. This is not an invasive species. This is not a harmful species. Um, as immature as they're feeding on tree roots for 17 years before they emerge as adults. That's when things will get noisy. You will hear it 24 hours a day. At least for the next month, while brood eggs find mates, lay eggs, and then die. Not as easy to get rid of, the spotted lanternfly. Nymphs, the little ones, have already been spotted, so you can expect to see scenes like this in Center City again. Dr. Cambridge's take, don't squish them, but instead report them. People should act as eyes, not as uh, swatting bats. Finally, ticks are a usual concern this season. Experts say the Delaware Valley is a hot spot for tick-borne illnesses like Lyme disease, so best use caution. As far as the Curtis's cicada collection goes, well, it sure beats a flea circus. Try and save as many of them as we can and wait 17 years for it to happen again. And save them they are. I know you guys want to take a much closer look, so we want to know more about cicadas, and you'll want to head to our 6ABC app on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, or Android TV. In the Action News Plus section, you can look for insect invasion. You can see more of my interview with Dr. Cambridge from the Insectarium. And I know you guys definitely want to know this next part. The next time we can see this brood emerge, 2038. So mark your calendars. We are live in Newark, Delaware. George Solis, Channel 6, Action News. Back to you. Okay. 20